Hello and welcome to Devil's Comic School and today um, one of our subscribers asked me how to draw like Charlie Adler and yes let's deconstruct this for our man I have forgotten his name but I hope he's watching um, I will take this issue of The Walking Dead for some examples and what I can not stress enough is like um, if you want to draw like your heroes um, there are two things you need to learn you need to learn how to construct um, an underlying structure like here we were deconstructing um, Frank Quinn from a Franco-Belgian comic um, and then over the form you will draw details and this is then the final design the final form and but as you can see here this is from a daniel warren johnson drawing you always need to create an underlying structure an underlying form um, a wireframe and on that wireframe you can put then your final two-dimensional form so let's look at charlie adlert i will link below um, the video um, this was inspired by because like I needed to see how Charlie Adler draws he has not a very I mean he has a very specific style but it was hard to decode and I will um, give you a few nuggets so first of all Charlie Adler um, draws some kind of egg or egg face as you can see it's usually in uh, three thirds one is like he, he makes an egg then he cuts him um, he cuts him just in like this direction and the eye line but usually um, somewhere here if you have a Loomis head you will have here the ears and Andrew Loomis will cut here um, and do the nose and stuff like that and here the lips but as you can see, Charlie Adler um, was then putting in, because he drew this guy so often, he's drawing Negan. And so um, the second lesson here is with, I don't want to say time, I want to say with experience and practice and time spent on the matter. Sorry for the lawnmower in the background, I'm sitting here at my garden table. Um, with experience not with time time doesn't matter it's the hours you put into practice and the hours you spend on the task um, you will know where all the things will go and i think charlie adler um, practice it enough if he can do it you can do it and um, it, is a it is a crafting of the knowledge where everything has to go and then your own style will de develop by the heroes you have. Like you will start learning to draw, not necessarily from anatomic books, but you will start looking um, how did, for example, how does Charlie Adler um, draw an ear? And you will maybe um, search for an ear, not find one, and maybe... Um, okay no ears but somewhere there are ears and you will start um, practicing these ears then you will look at anatomy and trying to understand it then at a certain point you will try to understand the skull how the nose is shaped and the lips and all these will give you hints um, what what there is to do and as you can see here Charlie Adler then um, puts in his pencils on the stage he puts in the eyes the eyebrows he draws very reduced just the bare bones um, so you can read what's in the picture this is Negan with his jacket with Lucille his fist and then his malevolent grill a uh, grin and um, to draw faces and expressions um, for example you need a sheet to know how how does it look like to draw cruelty because like if you're drawing cruelty probably you have like the eyes down here but he's smiling this is cruelty let's zoom in like this is cruelty 
but um, if you have sadness, probably um, you have something like this. I don't know. This is bad. But you know what I mean? Like, you need to know uh, the facial expressions. And there is a sheet, like in Scott McCloud's book, or maybe you can uh, see for yourself, and there's cruelty, joy, or maybe you look up um, different faces, because like each face needs its own expression. And then once he's done this, he has constructed from uh, basic shapes, he has put in the details, and then he has penciled it. And once he has the pencils, he will then uh, start to put in the inks. On the video I link, um, he will draw it digitally, but I saw him also drawing um, traditionally, and I draw traditionally. And what he then will do, he will put in a lot of blacks. Um, and if light hits from here, from this side, he will draw something called um, hard blacks or hard edges. And um, he will cast hard shadows. So um, usually he also um, has something going on, which is like a yin and yang, like you have here the face, here you have the, 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 um, the facial hair or the hair, and then um, he puts in the eyes, very reduced, I will show you in a second, and then he will black it out, or he, again here is the face, um, Potter Gabriel, um, let, me let me zoom in, and Potter Gabriel, and he gets um, a hard light from here and a, a rim light from here or Andrea gets just simple shapes and then he tries to draw them as beautifully as possible or here um, what's this character's name it's not Glenn um, the older man let me show you some examples and um, Dale, Dale as you can see um, it depends on what we're looking on, if it's a shot like this, sometimes he will try to use as many blacks. Um, he always tr will try to black something out just because it's his style. And he goes for this um, black and white noir thing, but also for um, just a look and create, he tries to create this certain feeling but there's always a lot of black, a lot of yin yang, and as you can see the faces, um, no unnecessary, no unnecess unnecessary lines, just the bare minimum of what's um, needed, but he tries always to make it very moody, include a lot of blacks, and yeah, that's how he does it. So. I would say if you want to draw like Charlie Adlerd, um my best bet would that would be that you um, draw one page comic, create your own characters or create um, a story in the likes of Charlie Adlerd, and then um, try to copy, steal, trace, um, but not for for the sake of tracing, just for the sake of understanding. As you can see always these blacks in the middle of the face um, or blacks left, right, behind. That's his style. And then the way he draws his faces, um, it's definitely his style. I wouldn't say it's the best style, but that's what he does. I hope I could help. So keep drawing, keep understanding what you do, because at the end of the day, it's like construction penciling, inking, and then um, checking out how your heroes put stuff together. Um, if we would take a look at Ryan Otley, he does things a bit different. Here the colorist do, does the heavy lifting. Um, and so everything you look at um, is definitely something you worth studying. And know that Charlie Adlert and that Corey uh, Ryan Otley, they were going through the same process as you are going and they're already a bit further than you.
but they took things from their heroes and molded them together. See ya.